Okay, this is the uh, HKP30SK. I also have my HKP30O with the compensator on him. Um, I have just put in the gray guns um, uh, system in the P30SK, um, just to give you kind of an idea of um, what that offers. The, uh, the idea is that the reset is going to be much, much shorter. And so trigger pull, you know, you've got your double action trigger pull, Gun cycles, reset is there, and then back. So the uh, the the follow up shots should be a little faster. And I brought out the the P thirty L because I do not have the gray guns in this. And so pulling the trigger, gun cycles, reset is there so um essentially at the the notch where it, or where it gets fatter um, and then goes in on the trigger guard there so it's it's quite a bit longer of a reset and also now from reset to the wall is kind of a, a little bit of a mush actually here let me do that again so we're here it comes back out resets there pulling it back to the wall here and then the trigger goes, okay, and the gray guns again. Pull trigger, gun cycles. It comes out to here, so it's much shorter. Um, and then there's there's just a lot less travel time, and there's there's not that same that same mush, that same that same feel as the trigger comes all the way or as the trigger travels from the reset to the wall and then breaks. So, I haven't had a chance to shoot this yet, so see how this little guy does. Starting out DA or double action. Okay, so the, the first trigger pull feels like it has. Um, you know, the, the double action feels like it used to, so that doesn't feel like it's really changed. Um, but there's definitely a much shorter reset for those follow-up shots. Um, I like that. I like that kind of a lot. Um, and then just to, by way of comparison, I only loaded up five rounds in the, uh, the P30L. And I'll just shoot him in the head. And the reset... It is an improvement. Now, is it a vast improvement? I don't know. Um, you know, the, the Grey Guns kit um, was, I want to say, $85 um, from the Grey Guns website. They didn't send me the kit. They didn't, they didn't ask me to do this. I bought it just like you would buy it, um, you know, uh, and installed it. Uh, there, a guy on uh, YouTube had a video. I can't remember his name. Video is about 30 minutes long or so. Um, but he walks you through how to do the uh, the lower uh, part. He does not walk you through how to do the one spring up here in the slide that you have to do. Um, so just be aware of that. But there are other people online who have different videos about uh, about doing that. It 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 isn't a lot in the way of uh, what you need to do. Um, so don't be too intimidated by. Um, you know, installing the kit yourself if you have to. If you're not comfortable with it, obviously you can get a gunsmith to do it for you. Um, you know, even your local gun shop, even if he's not a gunsmith, should be able to do it. Yeah, I like that. I do like that. Um, you know, again, that's only just a few rounds through the gun so far. Um, yeah, let me try a couple of 147s. I had another video going here a few minutes ago, and that gun didn't like 147s, so I just kind of left them there. Um, so, um, you know, whether it's worth it to you or not, you know, that's just uh, up to you to decide. Um, the, the reset on it, I mean, as I get more used to it, I think I'm going to like it more and more, um, which is always good when you spend, you know, 80 bucks on something. I'm putting the 147s at the bottom, and then there's five rounds of the, just the 115. Um, 
for follow-up shots, yeah, I can see as I get more and more used to it, it'll be uh, something I like more and more. I tend to do a lot of just double action and then take two, three, four shots, double action, two, three, four shots. Um, I don't know, this might convince me to spend more time just doing single action. picked it up um if you are looking for a a fairly simple mod um for your trigger um you know again this is something that um that you could probably do yourself if you can't then gun store can do it for you but again i mean just that as as the you know you fired the gun and as as you're um, releasing the trigger i mean what i found was that i was actually letting the trigger reset and because i'm used to the hk I was still allowing the trigger to travel forward quite a bit. And then, you know, there, there's, there's more travel. But uh, as I said before, there's no mush here. Um, the, this, is, this is a very uh, quick and easy take up, kind of along the lines of probably their LEM triggers. Well, maybe not their LEMs, but um, I remember I had a pair ordnance light double action, which had a trigger that this took no effort whatsoever. And you knew where the wall was. I mean, you knew when you got to the wall where it was. Um, and it's right there. So, sorry, I got a bug flying around my face. Um, you know, it's, it's something that, that does reduce that travel, which allows you to get back on target quicker. Um, I felt, you know, increasingly confident in just tapping off those rounds fast, fast, faster, um, as I was shooting. Um, so, you know, if you are looking for something, a, a mod for your, uh, your HK, um, I would at least consider the, uh, the gray guns, uh, trigger mod, um, uh, you know, because it does reduce the travel time and it also makes it not spongy, which is nice. So that's the uh, gray gun inside the HK P30SK.